Hello there and welcome to another Coffee with Calumans. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk to you this week about baggage, right? I came across something during the week. I was reading something in a, in a devotional that I use and uh, I took a few notes which I thought are worth reflecting on for myself and for yourself. A man on a march on earth carries only what he needs for that march. Would you pity him if you saw him bear the overwhelming weight of worn out shoes and uniforms of past marches and years? And yet, in the mental and spiritual life, that's what we do. I thought it was really interesting. Man on a march only carries what he needs for the march. Would we pity him if we saw him dragging along all the old uniforms and rucksacks and sh worn out boots, etc., from previous, uh, previous campaigns and pre previous marches? And the answer is no, we wouldn't feel sorry for him at all. We'd be saying, what an idiot, right? And yet that's what we do in our mental lives, that's what we do in our emotional lives, that's what we do in our spiritual lives. We cling on to stuff from our past, yeah? We carry it with us year after year after year, and then we expect everybody around us to help us carry that burden. It's not really the right thing to do, is it? Let's be honest with ourselves. Do we hang on to old baggage? Yes, we do. Many of us are masters at it, right? And whatever about us hanging on to our old baggage, the problem is that we then expect everybody around us to help us carry the burden. What's worth keeping? What's worth losing? If it's not serving your higher purpose, well, then it's worth leaving behind. If the, if the old boots, the old uniforms, the old shoes, the old rucksacks, the old stuff is worn out, maybe it's time to let it go. Leave it in the past where it belongs. Free up your hands, free up your heart, free up your mind, free up your soul to look forward instead of backwards. And maybe it's time to finally cut it loose, let it go, leave it by the side of the road, and march on. Whole new world, lighter in ourselves, more upright, more focused, able to move a little faster. I think it's worth considering. Man on a march on earth only carries what he needs for that march. Would you pity him if you saw him bearing the overwhelming weight of worn out shoes and uniforms? No, you wouldn't. Yet we do it ourselves the whole time. So maybe it's time for a change. Just, just thought that was an interesting one this week. And by the way, I'm doing this every week as much for me as I am for you out there. I'm delighted and honored and privileged that some of you choose to tune in regularly and thank you for that because the one truly irreplaceable resource on earth is time, is your time and my time and I don't take that, uh, don't take that lightly so I really appreciate if you take a few minutes every week to have a cup of coffee with me or periodically to have, have a cup of coffee with me. I'm delighted and honored and privileged. Thank you for doing that. Uh, and I'm, but, I, but I'm thinking out loud for myself as, as much as for anybody out there who's choosing to listen because I need to hear this stuff too. You know, I'm, I'm not immune to carrying the baggage from the past. My life isn't perfect. Your life isn't perfect. Is there such a thing? Probably not, okay? But we really need to learn from each other. We really need to figure out what's not serving us well, be willing to cut ties if we have to with things in our past that haven't served us well so that we can be of better service to others into the future, better, of better service to ourselves and then others. Pour you put on your own oxygen mask first. You've got to look after yourself first. You know, if you're carrying too much baggage and you're expecting everybody around you to help you carry it, you know, eventually some people may get tired of that. So be respectful of others. It is said that everyone lights up a room, some when they enter and some when they leave. And I'm sure we're all on, on a spectrum there, depending on our mood, depending on the day. The question is, where are we mo most often? So just think about this, please. Think about this. Are you carrying baggage that you've no right to carry, that you've no reason to carry, that you uh, should have left down long ago? And if you are, fine. Do something about it now. When was the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. When's the next best time? Today. So thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. I hope and trust as ever you got something from it. Come back next week and we share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business. Between now and then, get some great coffee, get some fresh air, get some more and more. If you spend a lot of time with people, I recommend you spend some time alone. Conversely, if you spend a lot of time alone, I recommend you go meet some people. And then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organized for the week ahead, drop some baggage, and I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee with Column. Sláinte. Ah, oh, I love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>